because they wouldn't know they they wouldn't vote to send him. Tell you all you need to know. Seems to look pretty good on the, you know, yeah, not the crank. That door shut tells you everything you need to know. Seems to look fine. It's not the most beautiful, but not a lot of guys can do this when their truck is 50 years old. Mm. That's that's pretty good for something fifty, you know. Cab corners, although it looks like somebody did a little work on them. Yes, <laughs> this bed almost took a little tumble on the way home. <laughs> Definitely needs a good good clean. Automatic, yeah, yeah. But, ex-military. It's got some description, stuff like that. It was an old fire truck, too. Which, we've been trying to figure out if it's a W200, if it's a ton and a quarter. Because, all these badges are telling us something different. So, i tell you. This door here tells you all you need to know. <laughs> Yep, for me and 50. Yep. Uh, every tire is a different size, by the way. And these are some big tires. <laughs> Might not look like it, but... You, uh... You look at that. That is not a little tire. Pretty dang big. Yeah. Like I was saying, the bed almost took a ride off the side on the way back. Because he said, oh, just, you know, put a strap on it. it you know, it, it'll stay. Because it's not, you know, hooked up or anything. But, you know, I was going to repaint this thing black. Not not, not because, uh, not because of that old 83 that I had. But because, you know, black on old trucks looks pretty cool. But I, I think I decided I'm just going to clean it up. Put some shiny parts on it. Badges. You know, stuff like that. I need to get batteries. Which, uh, that's pretty handy there. Winch. We back we pushed it up a little bit with the backhoe. Made it quite a bit easier. And uh, a lot faster, a lot faster. But it's got all four-wheel drive. All kinds of cool stuff. I mean... For 900, title in hand and the keys did pretty good. Did pretty good. Here comes the Duramax. What? Recording. It seems all good underneath the for a 50 year old truck here. You know. Here in Oklahoma, it's not bad, but a, a strange thing I actually just noticed, literally just now, is that's kind of weird. If you see how small that drive shaft is compared to the giant one back there, not necessarily giant, but look, look at all this stuff. A little, little thin freaking Pringle can muffler on there. Seems pretty good. Rust wise, it's in great shape. I mean, well, I mean, rot wise, you know, like cancerous rust, it's in amazing shape for, you know, at least about 50 years old, something like that. Too lazy to do the math. I don't really care that much. But 
It's got some. Got hell of. Uh, I was saying, don't. Some guy just come over, start talking to me. These are some badass hooks right here. Badass tow hooks. But pretty good old old son. Did pretty good. Nine hundred bucks with the title. With the title, that's pretty good. Got to get battery. You know, starter obviously, cause it's a Dodge smoke bar. Obviously, right in this old girl, this old red sucker. This thing is a powerhouse. I don't know what in the world they've done to this thing, but it's it's chipped and tuned and stuff. I don't I don't know what all, but thing is pretty wild. Just kidding. Nope. Cummins Power, baby. Diesel. And I'll, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Gonna get this thing unloaded. Get, get a little better look at it. I'll see you guys in the next time. Get a little better look at this thing.